I learn an awful lot through making the movies from the audience response, you know? From uh, kind of what I get back, you know? And I learn where the narrative has difficulty, you know? Um, psychoanalysis is kind of interesting up to a point. I think, you know, Scorsese had it in his movie, but Freud said you couldn't psychoanalyze the Irish. I think that's kind of true. They're too messed up. You know, it's too... We're kind of like the Sicilians or the Cubans, like little islands beside big power, except England was the biggest. It was like so... You know, like essentially, the Second World War grew out of Versailles, which was the power being able to trap a powerhouse economy and, you know, the way we do with Iran now, that's what we did with Germany. And, and if you can imagine that that could be done to a nation as powerful as Germany, what it was like trying to be Irish to do that. I think that's probably true in lots of ways, you know. Um, I think there's a great life force in Ireland, you know, that's trying to come true and there's a history that's very difficult, you know, and they drink like the Poles, uh, maybe more, but you drink vodka, which not good. Very, very powerful. We drink large amounts of liquid. I don't drink Guinness anymore myself because I can't. We laugh a lot and we dance a lot and we play a lot. Yeah, they're not Amelie, you know, they're not like, you know, bon vivant or, you know, they're not, I, yeah, they're, they're kind of more about, they're more like, I suppose, the old theatre, are they? You know, like, kind of, more like theatrical stuff, ibsen -y kind of, a bit, you know, like they're dealing with social issues and people who are deprived and people who have been unjustly accused and, but in America it probably has a little bit more lightness a touch. Um, it's hard to generalize, but I suppose they do show in there. I suppose you're, you have to if you come from somewhere, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's basically kind of true, the story, you know. Um, it's visually probably different to the other ones. It's not as rooted in re realism. Um, you know, it was kind of fairly well received in Ireland, not really at all, zero in England, and um, very well in America, you know, but it's about America, so I suppose they like that. Um, it's a, I was always fascinated by the fact that the Irish went to America but left no record, you know, because Gaelic was such a verbal, non-written culture, that there was nothing written down, like a million people, nothing. And, you know, the history of, I'm writing something now that's kind of addressing that. I think the Irish are angry, and that's covered up. And I think they're, they're welcoming because, kind of, that's a lot of their economy, you know? And, the famine of the 1847 was a catastrophic event. It was bigger by a multiple of 20 than any 20th century African famine. So it was like an African famine multiplied by 20 at least. So you have to realize how catastrophic that was. It was kind of similar. It didn't have the nature of the Holocaust, but it had similar results.
it's very difficult for all that you know Ken's movie is a two brothers movie a very interesting movie very good with one event in it that I found really weird is when the rebels take the guns from the state forces and they shoot a couple of guys and the state forces shoot back at them and they shout at the people shooting at them why are you shooting fellow Irishmen? Well the answer is you just shot two guys so it's kind of has a it, it's kind of has a Ken doesn't like people in uniform you know and I kind of would tend to want to share that sympathy but sometimes people in uniform are necessary, do you know what I mean? Um, and Neil's movie is great, but very difficult because... Because, see, the dangers in history, like... You come into that movie when the Irish take the fort. And the English are fighting the Germans. And the world audience doesn't know there was two wars. They think there's one war and it's Hitler. And even if there was two wars, the Germans were the bad guys of both war. So why are we stabbing England in the back when they're fighting Germany? That's a hard place to come from. And you've got like, it's kind of like coming into the relate the row with the wife and the abusive husband when she's hitting him on the back of the head with a frying pan. You know, so history's really hard. And the British have been noble and amazing in the way they stood up in the Second World War and often times you know they've been great and other times they've been terrible so for me to make a movie I'm always trying to figure what's the ulterior motive you know what am I what effect is it gonna have you know and like in the name of the father is really the effect of a non-violent father so I'm really hamstrung by the fact that I'm not really that interested in violence as an end in itself. I'm much more interested in showing where it originates and how to get rid of it. So I'm going to write a movie about the 30 years of the Troubles in Ireland. Uh, but it's about how it starts as a genre movie but ends as a non-violent movie. It's, and sometimes events that you take it lead inevitably into places you can't stop them going. It's like a river. You start a hunger strike, you start a political movement out of a hunger strike, it'll become a political movement, you can't stop it. So I'm interested more in, in that, you know, and kind of like the dilemma of belonging in a clan society, whether you're Arabs, Irish, Polish, which I would consider all these clan societies, you know, and, and, and how to have personal responsibility in those, as opposed to clan system or communal system. And audiences really don't, aren't that interested in family and clan. Like, they like the Godfather because he kills everybody in his family. I mean, that's why they like it. And so, yeah, I'd like to, I, I'm kind of making the part one of in America before I left for America. And you could say that's self-obsessed. I, I don't know, you know what I mean? That's the danger. Um, but the other side of it is there's nowhere to hide. Do you know what I mean? Because like, if the audience don't like the character, it's you. So I find that really interesting, you know, because it's like a tightrope. And it's funny that, that there haven't been many films. Like, we've had a hundred years of cinema and a many really personal stories out there. Like, there's not many.